Hey, how's it going? It is uh, week four of my new job, and I'm loving it. It's it's very um, involved. Let's put it that way. The commute's longer, like I mentioned before, but we're getting a routine down. A lot of old habits are coming back into our life in a good way. You know, like when do you work out? When is family time? All that kind of stuff. And a lot of the bad habits are getting worked out. You know, um, I've changed my work schedule so I come in a little later and stay a little later. That way I can avoid traffic in, in, uh, on the days that I come into the office. That's a big plus. Life is pretty good. Wife and I are planning and executing on date nights more. Huge plus. It's been a, a piece of friction in our marriage because I get really focused on like work and all kinds of different things that take away time from my wife. And any of you who are married, you you know how important that one-on-one -on -one time is. And so I've been really working on, on spending more quality time with her. And that's been very beneficial to both of our mental health. Um, it's been good to get on the same page with everything from work to kids to are we homeschooling, are we not? Uh, money. Money's a huge thing, as you know. Uh, back in March, uh, I was I was scammed, and that was brutal. Um, it turned out okay in the short term. Um, Chase, that's the bank that we were banking with. Um, they did a fraud investigation in the whole thing, and at first I thought their fraud investigation um, was able to cancel the transaction and reverse the charges, and uh, everything seemed fine. However... <laughs> Turns out those were actually just courtesy credits that they put in our account while they reopened the fraud case. Uh, they later determined that it was not sufficient to count as fraud because I entered my PIN during the transaction. And therefore they removed the courtesy credits from the account. I uh, never actually canceled or reversed the charge. And we lost the money in the end. So, oh, that was kind of a blow. <laughs> it, it, it feels like, and it wasn't this, but it feels like you're scammed twice. You know, you lose it in the beginning, and then later when the bank reaches a resolution, you lose it again. And thank God we were able to get on our feet enough that, uh, you know what, we're not going to be homeless. The kids can keep eating. I'm dealing with some severe pride issues because of it. I finally found the denial stage, <laughs> those five stages of grief. Denial has hit me really hard in the last month. Not saying things like, I can't believe this scam happened. No, 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 no. But denial of where I am now. <laughs> I want my money back. Well, you probably should have not been scammed then you know <laughs> or done a little bit of more due diligence while in that stressful situation sure 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 and I can kick myself up and down this video all day but I've done that enough over the last two months and it's there's been a lot of points of tension in in my household between my wife and I with my actions I've been <sighs> She says it's like being married to a different person afterwards. And I could totally see that. I could see how the stress of it has really affected me. And uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it in a lot of proactive ways. I feel like action is the only thing that will make me feel better in the end. I, I'm, I'm considering some side gig stuff just to earn back those $5,000. It's like somehow if I make an extra five it'll negate the scam and I'll feel better. But I know like the, the, the part of me that understands whatever rudimentary knowledge I have on psychology knows that it's all in here. Even getting the $5,000 isn't going to heal the, the hurt pride that I have, right? So I'm working on that. I, I will definitely share as I go through it how that turns out or how to handle it if I find something useful. But uh, the only thing I've found so far is self-care, uh, lots of prayer, deep breaths to calm down, and uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Just keep working.
just move forward. What else are you going to do? Um, beyond that, I, I want to put out some financial content coming up soon. Um, talking about uh, personal finances, the software I'm building. Um, maybe some more dad life stuff. We'll see. But mostly, I just want to put something out there. Let you all know, hey, I'm not dead. And um, life continues. So I've got to reintegrate that habit of filming uh, with the new job. and I, Maybe I'll film during commutes exclusively. Who knows? I'll figure it out. But uh, I hope you're well. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And good luck with whatever's going on in your life. Okay? I'll talk to you later.